Hi everyone, welcome back to another virtual lesson. Today we're gonna to be drawing transportation. We're gonna draw three types of transportation. We'll draw land transportation, air transportation, and water transportation. So we're gonna be drawing boats, trains, helicopters, and more. So stay tuned for the lesson. And we're gonna start with some warm ups. All right, so we are going to start with the warm-ups, and today's warm-ups are going to be a little different. We're going to draw as many kinds of trees as you can in 30 seconds, draw as many kinds of flowers as you can in 30 seconds, and draw as many kinds of insects as you can in 30 seconds. So, okay, so I'm going to have my timer here, and we're going to go for 30 seconds for each. Okay, so I didn't do very well. I only got four kinds. Um, so I have just like a regular um, sort of like pine tree. We have a maple tree, a coconut tree, and then I was just getting started on another tall tree and I forget what these ones are called, but they have them a lot up north. Okay, so the next one is going to be draw as many kinds of flowers as you can in 30 seconds. So I'm going to set my timer and we're going to go ahead. Okay, so I have five here. I have a, a daisy, a tulip, a rose, a trillium, and I was just getting started on my sunflower when the timer went off. Okay, and the last one is going to be to draw as many kinds of insects as you can in 30 seconds. Okay, so I did a little better on this one. I have a butterfly, an ant, a spider, a bumblebee, a caterpillar, and a dragonfly. So those are the warm-ups. Hopefully you guys are feeling ready to draw and we're gonna move on to the lesson. Okay, so for the first category of transportation that we're gonna be drawing will be land. So we have two things that we're gonna draw for land transportation. And the first one is gonna be bus and the second will be a train. For the bus, we're just gonna start out with a basic rectangle. And then we're gonna draw two wheels and they're gonna be closer to the middle than wheels on cars usually are. So right about there is good. And then you can take your eraser and just erase the line um, from the middle of the wheel. And then we're gonna draw around the wheel where the outside of the bus goes. Just like that. And then 
can add a little bit more detail to the wheels. So I'm just adding little rounded triangles that almost kind of look like candy corn or something. And then on the front of the bus, we're gonna add the front window, just like that. And their mirror that sticks out so that they can see. And a little light. And then we're gonna draw the bus driver's window. like that. And then you can draw a big row of windows. And then you're going to add panels of windows within that row. Alright, and then we're going to add the light at the back, and then I'm just going to add a line that goes all the way across uh, decoration at the bottom there. Alright, so that's our bus, and you can go ahead and color it. You can also give it a little background, maybe a city street. You could draw the bus driver and maybe passengers. Maybe you could draw yourself on the bus uh, with your friends or your family. Uh, you could draw the bus stop sign, all that stuff, feel free to add to your own drawing. Next, we're going to draw a train. So the train will start with one rectangle at the front, like that, with a smaller rectangle on top. Next, you'll add a long skinny rectangle on top of that a sort of like half circle shape at the front, another rectangle here, and then this is where the steam comes out, and then we're going to draw the wheels, so we've got one here, one here, and a really big one here. And you can go ahead and erase the lines inside the wheels. And then we'll add this at the front. Okay, so final step for this front part of the train is just adding the windows up in the top here so that the train conductor can see. And then next we're just going to draw a little attachment here. And then I'll draw two uh, train carts, but you can add as many as you'd like. You can make your train as long as you want. So I'm going to start by adding a rectangle like that and two wheels go ahead and erase the line And then I'm just going to add one more train cart. So the same thing, a rectangle,
Okay, so that is our train and those are all of our land transportations that we're going to be drawing today. Okay, so the next category of transportation that we're going to be drawing is underwater transportation. So we're going to start with a sailboat and the first step to drawing a sailboat is to draw So first we're going to draw the bottom of the boat. And it looks kind of like that. And then the next step is we're going to draw the like cabin of the boat where people can stay. So I'm going to draw it like that. And I'm going to add some windows. like that. And then we're going to draw a little bit of a railing. At the front. And then we're going to draw the post up that holds the sail. Just like that. And you can draw a curved line that goes down to the front. And another curved line that goes to the middle. And then another curved line that goes um, from the top corner to the bottom corner. Then on the back, we're gonna draw a straight line down, straight line across, and then another line down like that, and a line like that. And there we have our sailboat. All right, the second water transportation that we're gonna be drawing is a submarine. So we're gonna start by drawing the body of the submarine. And it's gonna be bigger on one side, a lot wider. Next step, you can draw a line that goes from the top to the bottom and has a curve. And then another one, same thing. Next, we're gonna draw um, sort of like a wide rectangle on the top. And then a little um, a rounded rectangle beside it. Next, we're going to come up in a curved line, and again, just like that. Then we're going to add a line here with some windows. Just like that. And then we'll add some fins at the back. And we'll add three windows. And you can draw little circles that go down the edge of the lines. And these would be the bolts. Right, and then adding one straight line that connects all of the windows. And there you have it, that's our submarine. So you can go ahead and color these and put them in a background with some water and maybe some fish or some people and stuff like that. Okay, so for our final category, we're gonna draw two more things for air transportation. So the first thing we're going to draw is a helicopter. We're going to start by drawing a straight line that's going to curve down, back over, and then up. That line will connect to where we began. And then you're going to draw a circle there and some 
just like that. And then next, we will draw the window and another one here. And then you can draw the, um, I guess, the feet of the helicopter, you could call them. Not sure what they're actually called. And there's some on the other side too. So you're gonna draw the lines curving the other way. Okay, and then next, you're gonna draw the thing that holds the actual propellers onto the helicopter. So it kind of looks like that with a post that sticks straight up. And then the propellers. All right, and that's our helicopter. And you can add some people in there, some passengers, and maybe some birds or clouds in the background. Um, and definitely remember to color it in. And our last drawing for the day is going to be a hot air balloon. So we're gonna start with the basket. So you can draw any kind of basket, but this is mine. And I'm gonna draw some lines across to make that basket weave. Like that. And then I'm going to draw the actual um, balloon part of it. So first we'll start with a sort of like elongated oval and then from that we're going to draw up a large balloon shape like that and from this oval you're going to draw the straps or the I guess the ropes that hold it to the basket. And we're gonna draw a line across here that's kind of curving upward. And from there, you're gonna draw two more straps. So these are the things that actually hold it to the basket. And you can draw another line across here and a line that goes down the center. Your balloon can have any kind of pattern but I'm just gonna draw um, curved lines that are gonna make the stripes. But yours could be polka dotted, it could be striped, it can be rainbow, whatever you want. And you can also add some people in the basket if you'd like, and maybe some clouds along the outside of the basket because remember this thing goes really high up and that is all of our drawings for today hopefully you guys liked that lesson if you did and you did some drawings definitely send us photos we would love to see them and i will see you guys next week bye